Hey there internets, I'm Michael and today on Two Can Play That Game I'm going to teach you how to play Agamemnon from Osprey Games. So let's take it to the table. The aim of the game is to control these strings of fate which means ending up with the most of these little tokens here. These strings of fate come in three different types. We have strength strings, leadership strings, and then force strings. To begin the game, each player is going to need to decide which colour they're going to be. Either the yellow Trojans or the black Greeks. Once they've decided this, each player will take all of the tokens for their colour. They'll then need to turn them all face down so that the little hat shows. Then shuffle them all up and they're ready to play. With the players ready, you then need to get the board ready. So for your first few games, you're going to start using the Agamemnon side of the board, not the loom. So ignore the blue loom side. That's for advanced play, for once you've got a few more games under your belt. So we sit the board out, and then we need to populate the strings. So all we do is we put like for like. So wherever we see a yellow dot one, we put a yellow dot one, squiggly line on the squiggly line, and spears on spears, until every space is covered with a different string of fate. Now your board is ready to begin to play, and you'll need to pick your first player. They will then turn over one of their tokens, and place it on one of the circle spaces of the board. Then the second player takes their turn, and they reveal two tokens. From now on, until the final turn of the game, each player will be revealing two tokens, and then deciding where to place them. So this yellow player could go, right, I've got two here, I'm going to place this one here, and this one here. Each player has the exact same tokens, which are split into three different types. Leaders have spears in little circles on them, as well as a letter. The higher the letter, the higher rank that leader is. They also have warriors that just have a number of spears on them. And then weavers, which come in two different types. You have these weft tokens that when you place, break strings. This would then count as being in both of the strings. So if I placed it here, it would break this leadership section here as if it was a blank space but it does count for all the ones it's touching. With regards to these fourth strings here, it counts separately for both of those strings. The other weaver is your warp, and you have two of each of these. The warp allows you to move two strings that are touching it. So if I place this here, I could switch these two strings, for example, or if I place it here, these two, but I can't just switch anywhere. Only two strings that are touching that space. So let's imagine we filled up the board here with all the different tokens. The board is then filled up except for these two empty spaces. So these two empty spaces will break strings. And a string is a line of the same type of string. So here, for example, these force ones, if there'd been a token here, it would have carried on until it hit the weft, which acts like a blank space for breaking this string. You then score up all the strings that there are. So for the strength strings here, for example, we have a string going from this weft here, goes through here, and then it splits into two, and that's the end. So the black player has one spear, the yellow player has one, another three, so that's four, and a two, so that's six. So six spears is greater than one, meaning the yellow player would get each of these tokens, which means they have five points. 
if there was a draw, so the players had the same number of spears, no one would get them. So for instance here, neither player has any spears, so no one gets this, and it counts as zero for everyone. The black player here though would get both of these, because the yellow player has no spears in them. The leadership strings are won by the player who has the highest ranked leader in the string, keeping in mind blanks and wefts break strings. So for example, this string here, broken by this weft, has no leaders in it, so neither player would get those. Again, draws no one gets. Here, this string here, the player black player has played a B, but the yellow player played an A. They also played a D, but that doesn't matter. So the yellow player would get all of those. And over here, the black player played a D, but if we follow this string all the way along, we get an E. Well, that's fine. The black player still beats an E, but the yellow player also played a C. So all of those six strings connected there would go to the yellow player. The four strings are the easiest to work out. It's just the most tokens in the string. So for example, this string here is all black, so it would go to black. This string here is split, because we've got one, two, three, four of the yellows, one of the black. So the yellow would win it and take all of those bits of string. Here we have a tie, because the cleft breaks this string, so we've got one, two bits of string, and in that string we've got one of each person's. No one would get that because a tie is going to no one. And the same would happen here and here, because again we've got ties. Then just count up who has the most tokens of strings, and they have won the game. And that is how you play Agamemnon. I do hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel, as well as subscribing to the channel and sharing with your friends and family. And do also take a look at us on social media. You can find us on Facebook and on Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.